thing is, in this situation, I thought that I was a problem for a very long time, and then I had to step back and realize this is out of my control. At the end of the day, these are friendship issues between me and Olivia that have turned into me being bashed as a business owner, which is mad weird considering that this job not only supports me, feeds my kids, is my mother-in-law's full-time job, is a full-time income for multiple people. I'm not afraid to admit that I'm the issue whenever I am the issue, but whenever I'm being told to take, I need to be taking accountability, what do I need to be taking accountability for exactly? Olivia worked for me for almost an entire year from April of 2022 till March of 2023. Around New Year's Eve, I realized that things had gotten weird in our friendship. I had brought it up in front of other friends, trying to figure out, trying to fix, and trying to, like, understand what was so weird between me and Olivia. Finally, after months of things being weird between the two of us, she left for Texas. I was being told all types of stuff from different people and people we were working with that she was saying about me. So I just decided, like, if we can't communicate, she can't tell me what's wrong. She's talking crap about me behind my back to everybody. It's not a healthy work environment at this point. I felt like I couldn't even go in the tie-dye shop and tie-dye because everybody was like talking about things behind my back and it was just an awkward environment i texted olivia and i said dude you can't work for me anymore if this is how it's gonna be like i value our friendship more than i will ever value this job and us working together this was on march 13th okay this was the message that i sent to olivia saying like i don't think that we can work together anymore because I was really hurt in our friendship and I didn't understand like what was going on. We weren't communicating. I was being told things behind my back. And I just said that it was just toxic, not only for us, but for everybody involved in the situation. Like things had just gotten mad weird. Like she was just being so weird with me. And she responded with, all right, thank you for the opportunity. And thank you for letting me know two weeks in advance. Like I wish you nothing but the best. I... I've never been more confused than this time period of my life. This really messed me up because I have no idea what I did or like what. And then as soon as like me and Olivia split up and our friendship split up, her and her friends, especially Tori, started talking mad crap about me about how I'm a terrible person. Meanwhile, right before Olivia and I split up and I let her go, on February 27th, right before the story was about to open, Tori, hey, this is Tori. Since I'm so toxic, her boyfriend worked for me for eight months, okay? was asking me for a job at the store. And I was like, awesome, thanks for keeping me in the loop with your thoughts. I definitely appreciate you. I told her that I could probably use her for the grand opening of the store since Olivia is going to be in Texas. And then as soon as I let Olivia go because everybody's being weird to me, now I'm a terrible, toxic... I mean, when all this popped off and the screenshot and the screen recordings got leaked of Jessica and Olivia talking crap about me, I went to Olivia's house and she didn't come to the door. So I've been trying to take accountability and understand what I did wrong. But you can't just sit around and say that I'm a bad person, bad business owner, whenever you ain't got nothing. What? Like, tell me what I did wrong and then I can take accountability. So I'm not with this Fugazi backwards bullshit. Bye. Uh-uh.